now here we have to find out the angle between the two tangents so the curve given is having the coordinates x is equal to t y is equal to t square and z is equal to t cube and we have to find out the angle between the two tangents at t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 1 Now we know that position vector is given by x i plus y j plus z k. So substitute the values of x, y and z. Value of x is t, value of y is t square and value of z is t cube. Now tangent vector is nothing but the derivative of r bar that is dr bar by dt. So this is d by dt or derivative of the r bar term that is t i plus t square j plus t cube k. So now we will differentiate these terms with respect to t. So this is derivative of t plus derivative of second term that is t square plus derivative of t cube. Now t with respect to t derivative is 1, derivative of t square is 2t and derivative of t cube is 3t square. Now you find out the value of tangent vector at t is equal to 0. So in place of t it will be 0, here also in place of t it will be 0. So it will be only i or rather i bar. Then you have to find out the tangent vector at t is equal to 1. So i as it is, i bar as it is, in place of t it will be 1 and here in place of t it will be 1. So this is i bar plus 2j bar plus 3k bar. So these are the two tangent vectors and as we have seen earlier, the angle between them can be found out by using the concept of dot product. So it is t1 bar dot t2 bar divided by mod of t1 bar into mod of t2 bar. So substitute the values of these vectors. So t1 is i only and t2 is i plus 2j plus 3k divided by now magnitude of these particular terms so we are having here only one term that is i bar and its coefficient is 1 so it is under root of 1 square similarly for t2 bar mod of t2 bar we are having 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square because coefficient of i is only 1 so it is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square that is the magnitude of this vector that is t2 bar Now here we will have dot product of only i dot i because i dot j is 0 and i dot k is also 0. So i dot i they are having coefficient 1 into 1. So answer is only 1. Root 1 square that is 1 and this is root of 14. So answer is 1 upon root 14 cos theta is equal to 1 upon root 14 or we can say that theta is equal to cos inverse of 1 upon root 14.